So good evening, everyone. My name is Angela Mills, and I work for the town manager's office. This is a meeting of the town of Amherst Public Art Commission. And at this time, I would like to recognize the chair, Terry Holt. Take it away, Terry. All right. Thank you, Angela. OK, welcome. This is Amherst Public Art. This is our October meeting, 2023. Uh, today is October, October 5th, 2023. I'm going to read my thing. Um, in light of the ongoing coronavirus outbreak, Gov then Governor Baker issued an emergency order on March 12th, 2020, allowing public bodies greater flexibility in utilizing technology in the conduct of meetings under the open meeting law. Pursuant to chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so by clicking the Zoom link. This recording gets uploaded to the town's YouTube channel promptly after the meeting. No in-person attendance by members of the public is permitted, but every effort is made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. And in the event they are unable to do so, or regardless, we will post this on the town's YouTube channel shortly after the meeting. Okay, so roll call. We've got Robert is here, Dare is here, Tom is here, James is here, Jim, sorry, and I am here, and Lori should be along. So oh. she said she would be here. Uh, and uh, then probably have to d d uh, get out at 7.30. So we'll give her a couple more minutes to, to get online here. Anyways, welcome everyone. It's good to see your faces. Did everybody get the agenda? No, actually I, I don't. I don't have it. Oh, uh, you do look in your email and look for Angela Mills. She, she sent one to you. It's probably in your- Okay. In your, have, I'll find uh, it. Spam okay. box or something. I've been having such trouble with my email. Okay. Now, whenever I can't find it, I just search for Angela Mills, and it's always right there. Mm -hmm. Trouble is, what's happening in mine is some. If it goes to my cell phone, sometimes it doesn't go to my computer where I need it. Oh dear. Lori, welcome. Hi. Well, there's Lori. Here we are. Hi, Lori. Welcome. Hi. Okay. No, I, I never, I never got that email. Huh. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna uh, share my desktop so we can take a look at the uh, agenda and the minutes together. Uh, Lori, I'm aware you've got to get out at seven thirty, so we'll try to get as much as we can get done while you're here. Thanks. Thank you so much for for coming mm -hmm. with us. I'm going to share my screen and see how this works. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yep. Yes. Okay. All right. Our agenda call to order. We did roll call. We did um, inviting public comment. There is no one in uh, the waiting room. So we're going to move right ahead. Um, our first order of business is to approve the September minutes. Did you all get a copy of the minutes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you uh, took a look at them, I've got them up here in case anybody wants to look it over. Um, I did not get to look at it. So I'm going to just kind of breeze through here. I made two corrections based on things that people sent me. They're minor. Okay. Okay. Okay, everybody. Okay. Public. Okay. Uh, treasurer's report. You have um one eighty four twenty eight is the March balance. That's not right, is it? It should be. It, it was four thousand. Okay, if you'll one eighty four, um, there should be a four at the beginning of that number. What's the problem with it? So the treasurer report amount is wrong. Well, what is the correct amount so I can change it? Uh four thousand one eighty four twenty eight. Four thousand one eighty four twenty eight. Yeah, you yeah, everything's the, the same. The Just add add a four at the beginning of the Oh, number. I left the four off. I must have been thinking of a tax return. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And 
Uh, let's see, anything else we see here? Oh, there they Everything else looks good to me. Uh, anybody else have any changes? All right. Um, anybody like to make a motion to approve these minutes with the change that Jim is about to incorporate to make the treasurer's report reflect 4184.28 in the account? So moved. Thank you, Tom. Uh, I have a second here. Second. second. Great. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Great. Motion passes. We are now approved Approved minutes for September. And moving on. Um, chair report. Let's see. I've got it written up here. Okay. Um, still no word about the um, um, Kam, uh, Kamel, who's going to do the work on the uh, poetic dialogue statue. I still haven't heard from him. Um, I'm gonna try, uh, I might go to his place of business and see if I can get his attention. So I'll let you know how that goes. Uh, the Boltwood Gallery, uh, Dominique has sought legal counsel provided by the Mass Cultural Council to look over the contract. Uh, she's asked for a couple of changes. I met with Paul today in a meeting to go over those changes and we're happy to accommodate them. Um, there's one change that um, Paul is gonna uh, check in with the town's lawyer to make sure it's okay. Uh, he's going to get back to me on that, and then we'll have uh, the changes go back over to Dominique and make sure it's all good, and then we'll hopefully be moving forward. Um, I will let you know when that is finalized so that we can set a date for a celebration of some kind. Um, it is a collaborative process to work on this contract. Go ahead, Robert. I was just wondering, do you know, did the um, payment timing... Did that get adjusted uh, based on what the controller had said that we could we could make progress payments? We can make progress payments. Okay. It's good to find out. There still needs to be an invoice. So there will be an invoice for that progress. So we said we could pay um, $400 for upon completion of 50% of the project and then the rest upon the installment. Um, we would need an invoices for both. So um, yeah, I and found that that's okay also with fine. That? It would be fine. Uh, Dominique is having uh, taking some issue with the uh, the language of of the contract using the words um, uh, uh, needing need. Well, what is, so? I think the problem she was having mostly was that um, that requirement to have an invoice. Um, she didn't oh. realize that uh, this was being that she does. She thinks she's being treated like a contractor instead of an artist, Thank and you. I. I talked to Paul about it and he said, it doesn't really matter what we call it. If we call it an award, a prize, uh, a contract, regardless, you, we have to have an invoice of some kind to pay. That is the apparatus of town hall. It's, that is the way it is. We don't, we, we can't change that. So we need an invoice to pay. So um, I'm going to be talking to Dominique about that and see if we can just get that all figured okay, out. So let's call it something else. She said, oh, it seems to, she just didn't like word invoice well, the white honorarium well regardless we need an invoice um could i make a suggestion sure. um because it seems like we're getting hung up with with language and perhaps one way to accommodate that is if we have if we have a signed agreement and the agreement specifies the the payment arrangement in other words if if the final agreement is that four hundred dollars is paid upon 50 percent completion um I mean, I guess, I guess you would still have to somehow document that fifty percent completion. I was thinking because, and I've worked in performing arts organizations, and oftentimes the, the contract is basically the invoice. So if the if the contract spells out the, the payment terms, that's used in lieu of of a formal invoice. But you know, I don't know if if you want to talk to Paul about what what proof do they need and maybe it is the invoice i don't know it just i did talk to paul about this and he did say it is an okay. invoice and it can be but as simple he, as a piece of me. paper that has her name on it you know her address her tax id number because that does have yeah. to be in the invoice yeah and then just the, the amount and then we just submit that so so yeah um, also, so i, I was hoping said, the same like make it a little bit easier by just making this be a contract yeah excuse me he also said it didn't matter what it was called and her problem is that she doesn't like the word invoice. 
So why don't we just call it something else mm -hmm. and do exactly the same thing that's is in an invoice without the word invoice, and then everybody's happy. <laughs> Maybe just documentation of, you know, yeah. percentage completion or something like that. Yeah. I, I, yeah, can, I, I think, think, uh, I, think um, yeah. I'll, I'll a, I think we can. Regardless, I'll I'll have I'll talk with her and see if we can get that all figured out. Um, so I'll get back to you about that. Well, this one seems such an easy solution to me. Oh, by the way, do you have a chair report uh, in I've, writing? I'm reading it right now. Can you please send it to me? Sure. Thank you. Um, it's so, extremely helpful. Yeah, great. Um, as far as you making it public, um, I'm awaiting edits, edits in this meeting so that we can send out that email. Um, I looked over the email that I sent you all a copy of, and I, I, I think I want to leave out that end part about a possibility of a future project because it's keeping us from sending out this email saying that we're really sorry that this happened. And um, I we, I think we could say something at the end of it, like we, we would like to know if you'd be interested in future projects with us kind of thing. But I don't want to be very specific about the town hall thing because I feel like it's, it's kind of delaying my notification that this is discontinued. And so I want to get that part communicated as soon as we can so we can move on. So what do we think about that? Um, I just wanted to say that I noticed um, that making it public, the call is still on our website. It is. So I need to get that down and the other call as well. So yeah. when we, you know, decide what we're doing, yes, I think that should come down. Oh, it, they both need to come down right away. I think, that's, it's, I think that's fine to take that off. Yeah. Okay. Um, to not be promising anything specific. Yeah. Okay. What do you all, the rest of you think? Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Dara, what do you think about that? Oh, can't hear you. I think you've got your speaker off there. Sorry, that's fine. Okay, okay great. Thank you. Okay. Um, so then I sent I sent it to you. I'm gonna go ahead and uh first I want to send this to Jim. So he has it. Oh, sorry, that was a mess. There, okay. Send this. Um, so looking it over real quick. Uh, let's see, what did I call that? I called it making it public something. Town, here we go. Uh, letter to applicants. Okay, here we go. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna take what we've worked on and uh, omit the part about the possibility of this town town hall thing because we really it's too sketchy i'd like to work it out and then then approach them again and say we'd like to do this if you're interested not and not say it in this in this in this letter so yeah. i'm going to do that and then i'm going to send that out um this week if that's okay with you yeah i agree great because yeah. i want to just kind of wash our hands of this and move on to the next project robert sorry uh the last version that i saw and it commented on we're we're removing the section about offering any sort of payment correct yeah yeah so uh i'm trying to actually find i sent it to you uh a couple of days ago i think and now i'm trying to remember when i sent it i'm sorry i i must have i must have oh, I, I, I get and send so much email that <laughs> i don't know where i put it That's i remember the first round with the revisions but i i don't remember seeing the follow-up but i it's okay. possible that so I, I sent it on friday september 29th and I sent it to the three people I was kind of working with this on. So okay. I'm going to send it to the rest of you. And I'm going to leave out in the, the in the meantime paragraph right here. Um, so um, so you uh, so do you want me to read it to you? Is that is that helpful? OK, uh, I'm ready to let you know that our 2022 Making a Public Grant initiative from the New England Foundation for the Arts has been canceled. The Amherst Public Art Commission is grateful for your answering the call for art for this initiative back in late May or early June and for the work you put into your proposal. The town of Amherst has experienced a number of employee losses that were key to this project. Among those, the town planner who acted as liaison with us and NEFA to apply for the initial grant and help develop the project in its initial stages. Although the town tried to continue supporting this initiative, the loss of staffing made it impossible for APAC to meet our deadlines. Our town manager, Paul Walkman, had advocated on our behalf with NEPA to continue the grant, but the decision was finally made last week, I'll have to change that, to end Amherst participation in this project. 
This loss stings a lot. On behalf of all of us on the commission, we apologize. We will apply for the same grant when we are eligible to do so and when the town has staff capacity to fully, yeah, to fully support our efforts going forward. And then I'm gonna leave out this next paragraph. And then I'm going to say, my name is Terry Holt. I'm the acting chair of Amherst Public Art Commission as of March. I think that's correct, March, 2023. I'll have to check the notes. Uh, if you have questions or concerns, please reach out to me via email or leave me a note at town hall to my attention. So that is the entirety of the letter that I'm going to send. Is this okay? Any changes you'd like me to incorporate in here? All good. 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 Okay. All right. Great. Thank you very much. Um, as far as the block party, uh, Tom, Mikey, Jim, and I hosted a table. Uh, we had so many art. We had so many pens and markers and paper and, and stencils and Every child at that block party came by our table yeah. <laughs> and they That's drew. Great. Uh, it was great. Um, and we got to have some conversations with their parents and some of the grownups who were, who were walking by. We had uh, we asked for feedback about what uh, what the public thinks you know, Amherst Public Art should be focusing on in our in our next couple of years. And we had some great responses, which I have here on little slips of paper that I'm gonna write down for you all so you all get a, co get a copy. And um, so it, it was kind of an impromptu survey that I thought would be uh, would be helpful for us to figure out where we wanna go from here. Um, I do think we still could put forth uh, a more formal poll, um, although I'm curious where we would put it. I think we could probably try the Facebook page, but um, I'm not sure what kind of response we would get. But that kind of in-person feedback I think is really, really, powerful so I'm, I'm excited to go through it a lot of people want to see murals murals are very big right now in public art which is pretty exciting and i'm a fan of murals too so i think we should do that too so anyways we had a really good time thank you for for showing up guys i appreciated your your um your help on that and then uh Cultural Council, uh, the deadline to apply for a Amherst uh, Cultural Council grant is October 17th, which is right around the corner. And uh, I know we haven't had enough time talking about our strategic plan and the plans we want to do for 2024, but I did want to kind of just uh, put that out there that that deadline does kind of hover. And if we want to do something for 2024, we, we're, we might want to think about a project that we might want to put some uh, some energy toward for this year. Um, so that we can go ahead and fill out a grant application. Um, and I did want to kind of propose that whole uh, transformer box, utility box um, art project that uh, we've done in the past. Our, our town manager really liked it and supported it in the past. So I think it would be uh, a key thing to ask for, for grant money for so that we can get some artists in to beautify the town of Amherst. Um, so that's what I came up with, but I want to hear from you all as well. So was that November 17th? Nope, that's October 17th. October. Yep, mm -hmm. it's coming up. Robert? How lengthy is the application process, Terry? Uh, the the uh, grant application is an online form. Uh, they've made it a lot easier in the last couple of years to apply for grants. Um, I have not looked it over. I have not looked over Amherst, but um, we can do that. It would not. I actually have it kind of called up here in case you wanted to take a look at it. Yeah, I'd be curious to see it. Uh, and do you know, is there a, is there a, a dollar, is there a maximum amount? Or? There, there is. Um, let's see. I haven't gotten a chance to look it over. Uh, but but there is a, an information session that you can look at, or slide deck PDFs that you can take a look at. Um, okay. uh, all of these are... Is this is this our local one? I think this is the so, so that is that the Mass Cultural Council? It, it is. Mm -hmm. A lot of LCCs are just using this exact same language, um, so that it's not very it's not different. It, it's all MCC based. So it is. Would you be able to? Would you be able to send us the link to this, yeah. or, or have you already? I can do it right now. If you uh, check your emails, oh, actually, I can put it in the. I can put it in the, in the notes. Chat. Yeah. yeah. Let's see if I can get this done here. We do have that, right? We have, I don't think we have a chat, do we? 
Oh, we don't. Oh, okay. I don't think I have the ability to do a chat on this one. Oh, I guess I guess you're right. That is a shame. Oh, that's because of the public meeting, open meeting law. Right. Well, that's strange. Okay. Well. Yeah. That's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, anyways, it's uh, it's very easy to find. It's, it's just Amherst Cultural Council, and then it brings you right to here. Um, let's see. If well, one one thought I had, um, and I I'd have to read this to find out if this is something that they would fund, but um. You know the strategic planning process. Uh, it's it's been hard for us to to kind of get get a start on that. And I'm wondering if we were to get some funding, whatever whatever would be available to perhaps uh, engage someone with experience, either a consultant, someone, a facilitator, you know, someone who might help us get that ball rolling, so that we could build some momentum. Um, because I I think it's going to be tough. Um, to carve out the time or really prioritize it, and I, I, I still do think it's it's really important for us to to undertake it, um, in terms of helping us plan for the future. I think but, that's a great idea, Robert, to ask for funds to help pay for a con a consultant to help us with our strategic planning. That sounds like a really great idea. Great idea. Probably go over to yeah, Lori. What do you think about that? I mean, if that's within the parameters of what they would fund, yeah, I think that would be great. That's I also great. wanted to bring up at some point, so maybe now's a good time, is the idea, you know, following up on this idea of, of collaborating with, you know, the Public Art Commission and the Amherst Cultural Council collaborating and outreach that we can do to Matt Holloway or Julianne Applegate that beyond what you've already done in terms of moving that discussion forward. Right. I love that idea too. I I actually got an email recently from Julianne asking uh, how it was going with our Boltwood contract and <laughs> kind of wanting a like a review. And I and I told her that we're still kind of waiting to get our our art in there, and I wanted to make sure that we are still in good standing with a, the ACC. And they said that we are, which is a really nice thing to hear because we're we're new at this. We're all new mm -hmm. to this, so. Uh, it's good to hear that we're we're in good standing with them. So yeah, I would I would love to to do some collaboration with them. And I'm I'm I am curious if if um getting a consultant would fall under the the possibilities for grants. I I really don't know, Robert, and that's a good thing to look up. So um, I'm gonna... has, was that deadline for Mass or Amherst Culture? It's Council? for everybody. It's for Massachusetts and and it's all, it's for the local and for the state. It's all one thing. The money all comes in the same place. Um, so we, and you can look at what was awarded last year. Uh, I think in some way it has to benefit your local community, obviously. So I think we'll have to take a look at that. Uh, Robert, do you want to look into that and get back to us? October 17th is, we, we won't be able to meet. Oops, before sorry, we... I was muted. Um, sure. I can take a look and see. Um, but in terms of communicating what I find out is that something I can just share in an email if I just am stating factual findings or if you hold that thought for one second is, if you Darren, can't you discuss anything so you could say you could say I'd like to put on the agenda for the next meeting the following state what you're doing maybe and then don't discuss it pro or con if you want to push the envelope a little bit, but I think that's okay. But I'm not going to say so right now without looking the look at it. Well, I think the, the I think the the issue though would be if yeah, uh, if we're going to meet the deadline, that's only uh, 12 days from now. So right. I, I don't think we'd be meeting again before then. Uh, Dara, did you want to say something? Yeah, I um, I think if the main problem is that we can't find a time to meet for the talking about mission statements and plans for the future, a consultant's not going to help us get a time to meet. And it's I, it's a shame to spend money on a consultant when we have already given up money for an artist. When your idea, Terry, to go ahead and put in something that has to do with something that's already worked out, which is taking care of those utility boxes, 
to keep working on that and do more of those. That right. makes a lot more sense to do in 10 days. Okay. Then have somebody do the research to find out if asking for a consultant. Okay. Something. It just, to me, it doesn't, I mean, maybe in the future, but that's not art. That's not an artist to do something. And Valid point, Dara. Thank you. I think it's a really good idea for us to put put something about real art. Right. Okay. okay. Thank I'm you. Thank Dara you so much for that. your, yeah. Thank you for your viewpoint. Sounds yeah. like Tom agrees too. Um. All right, let's put a pin in the consult cons, consultant because we do have some funds available to us also in our own our own finances we can uh, possibly use toward that. But to to what Dara is saying, um, I think Dara might be right in, in how how we want to get money and what we want to spend it on. Yeah, I, I I agree. I think that's a good point. Yeah, we can certainly figure out the planning process um, in another way. So okay. Yeah. So let's let's put that that pin in that because I I would like to return to it um uh, about 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 hiring a consultant and and using the money that we have in our uh in our own treasury to to pay for that but uh as for October seventeenth deadline do you want me to pursue the possibility of doing a transformer box project and I think I can find uh information in our files from past projects we've done. And also talk to past chairs about how they did that and and what they did. Um, do you think want me to pursue that before mm -hmm. we we could meet again before October seventeenth? But it's really hard for us to get those you know those times together to meet to talk I about. If, it. I think if you can look at an a, original document about the previous work on the utility boxes, you should have the wording that you need already. And I've, I've filled out those applications and they're not that hard. Right, good, okay. Yeah. Uh, does Amherst do the, um, uh, like do they give you a piece of paper that has the dimensions of the transformer boxes and you have to put your, your art on the actual piece of paper so that you can see it? Or how does that, how do they do that, Dara, since you were That's familiar weird. with it? You would be asking for a general fund to support designs that you don't have yet. So I, I, you can just describe the utility box based on whatever you feel. It's not, it's not that you don't need to go into detail about it. It's not a call for a project. It's a proposal for this group to make a call for a project to continue with the project of the utility boxes that's already started. Yeah, that we, we can just we can figure out how to how to run the call yeah, later. Right now we just need the proposal to ask for the money. I think you can just go make a good description in a sentence or two. Okay. The enhancement of the walking on sidewalks and stopping at stoplights to look at the utility boxes. Right. Yeah, you know, and it, I don't think you need to worry about the details that like you think. Okay. All right. Um, so I'm going to look into that and see what we've done in the past and see if I can find some language. Um, and uh, I'd like to get something in before October 17th. So uh, if we need to meet before that so that you can see what, I, what I've come up with, um, we can, I can meet, we can try to meet so we can get a quorum together. Um, I can send out a doodle about dates. Um, I, I have some time before October 17th to meet. I don't know if anybody else does, but I'll send you a doodle and we'll see if we can get together. Okay, that sound good? Yeah, uh, and I wanted maybe. to say, uh, I was looking at the um, information on the website about the grants and it says that an LLC may approve grants for a broad range of projects and programs such as operating support, ticket subsidies, field trips, artist residencies, public art fellowships, community events and programs, site specific projects and other activities based on local priorities each LCC, so we need to find our own, determines its own local eligibility requirements based on a community engagement um, process and encourages granting no less than a minimum of 250 to each applicant. Right. So just to give you an idea in the future, I like the idea of making this proposal for the utility boxes. And then in the future, we can think about other things we might wanna do next year. I think that's a great idea. I would like to have, I would like to make a list of things we could work on in, in, in years forward after we do our strategic planning. So, but for right now, I think 
getting a 2024 grant cycle go going to request funds for transformer box, which we've already had in the past, I think is a, is a good way to, it's a good project to start with. Yes. All right. So, I, all right. I will work on that and I'll send you a doodle to see if we can get together before the 17th. Okay. All right. Yeah. I may be able to help you because I was on the commission when we did the utility box project. Perfect. Great, Jim. You're, my, you're my buddy. That's great. And also that word continue for an application is a really good idea. Okay. Continuing a project. Okay. Uh, yeah. Because that me that reminds me we've already approved it. Okay, great. I will use that that language. <laughs> All right, great. Thank you so much. Um, so um it's all I have on my chair report. So um, we'll move on to, on our agenda here. Um, review and approve email, we did that. Um, do we wanna talk about APACA publicity? Did you all get a chance to see the logo that we came up, that I came up with that was... Uh... I did not see that. Do you have a... I only saw it on your, your own email to us one time about okay. something else. Well, I printed it out. Um, huge, and I brought it with us to the um, block party to have something to kind of say who we are. Um, obviously, it isn't doesn't have to be the, you know, the the one we use. But everyone who saw it seemed to like it. Have um, we had other samples, or is there have we anything to pick from? Have a picture. I am going to send to you. Um, Actually, anything, any, anything you show, I need a copy of for the minutes. That's fine. Please. So the email and the picture you're about to send. Yep. I can send it to you uh, via email. Whatever way okay. you can. Here we are. Oh, oh, yes, the picture. The, yeah. Here we are at our table. And uh, this is a homage to the um, artist who made the beautiful illustrate the the stained glass window in town hall on the second second floor the second floor with a stained glass window that is historic it's actually it was created uh 20 years ago um i don't have his name in front of me i'm so sorry i should um the gentleman who who created that beautiful art in that window the stained glass window um it's it's in this same kind of uh it's in a it's an homage to it so um the original art has 20, uh, 20 has, well, 20, 31 moons <laughs> in the art. If you're, if you haven't gone to town hall to see what I'm talking about, it's a, it's a, it's a beautiful piece of art. And it, it, it is a piece of public art that was uh, funded 20 years ago that we paid for in its entirety. And it is still there. So this is just kind of an homage to it. Um, doesn't have to be what we use, but I thought it was kind of eye-catching. Who designed it? My wife. <laughs> She's an artist. <laughs> She's a graphic designer, uh, and uh, I told her what I wanted. I wanted something to do with the with that uh, with that window, um, because it's, it's significant historically and, and artistically, and and it's it's about public art. And so she's like, oh, and so she came up with this, and I liked it a lot. Well, so we'll, are we going to pay her for her work? No, no, we're not. I mean, she wanna. I mean, <laughs> she did well, not do this with the assumption that she was going to pay. If we had had a, if we'd had a public call for it and asked for people to present designs, we'd probably be paying them. Yeah. Uh, well, this you, and we can do that. I mean, it's just obviously. I just I wanted to kind of get something get something down to show you what a logo could look like, and we can all. I like, I like it. I like the the background of it too. Yeah, cool. I hate okay. to be a naysayer, but if you're going to pay your wife, it's going to be a conflict of interest problem. Yeah, we're not going to worry about that, Jim, because she's not asking for money. Okay, yeah. I'm just saying. She did it out of, the, out of the goodness of her heart. I pay her and, you know, cookies. <laughs> <laughs> we're good. <laughs> uh, anyways, that's uh, that's the publicity talk we're going to have. That's it. <laughs> um. I, like I it. want to say that we do still need to send uh, edits to uh, the town of Amherst for the website. So, Lori, you mentioned that the calls for art need to come down. That's true. If you, anybody has something that they notice on the website that needs to be changed or fixed, can you send it to me so I can send a list to um, to Angela to get that done? Yeah, so I'll, I'll do that too. Um, I noticed that there were there are some uh, dead links. There are. So, um, and there's I'll, also I'll some. Again. Okay, there's great, some thank public you. art listed. 
I just haven't had time. The tour Amherst art destination, some of the art's not there anymore. It isn't. So, yeah. yeah. Um, there's also a, a, a great, um, so, uh, Mikey actually sent me an email. I don't know. Did she send it to you as well? I'm not sure. Uh, it was about a uh, a piece in the local, the independent, the indie something, the Amherst Indie. Is that what it's called? I'm still new here. Um, that was about Amherst public art. And it actually listed and, and showed some public art that I didn't even know that, we, that I didn't even know about. So I still oh, feel wow. like it would be really valid to catalog public art in this town so that we all know what's been done in the past because mm -hmm. I still don't have a complete listing. And that's something I think would be really valuable. All right. All right. <laughs> Moving on. Um, other business not reasonably anticipated prior to 48 hours before the meeting. Uh, I did send you a email today that I received from Angela about um, a potential public art project for want of a nail. It's right here. Um, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so we can all see it. Um, this is, uh, this is a project that an artist, a North Amherst artist is proposing and asking for funds from the Massachusetts Cultural Council. Um, and it is to install a sculpture at the, uh, not quite built yet North Amherst Public Library, um, incorporating horseshoes, which are, uh, she found a bunch of horseshoes on the grounds that the uh, building is is going to be housed or, or where it's going to be erected. And um, she asked a sculptor to come up with a design and the sculptor came up with this, this horse head right here, which is cool. Um, so this is her grant application that she sent in, Catherine Stryker. And uh, I sent it to you in a PDF. If you couldn't, couldn't read it, I, I can... Um, I'm not sure how else to send it to you, but I don't know if you received it. Who who received yeah, it? I've got it. I've Tom's got it. got it. I, I know did. You I got it. it. I did not. I okay. It. I know. I know. There's. It's, it's hard to open uh, PDFs sometimes. Um, but if you want to read about it, um, I I read. I I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I talked to Paul a little bit about it today. He he got it as well. He thinks it's a pretty neat project, and I I said you know I'll talk to the commissioners and see if uh, we if this is a project we would like to support in our town. And so uh, it's something that we can, we can talk about. I just got it today. So I haven't been able to really think about it very much, but I wanted to put it out so that you all saw it so we can talk about it. Okay. Can you so, please send that to me again? Cause I didn't come through for some reason. Sure. Thanks. Um, yeah, on first, on first uh, read through, I, I was uh, very favorably impressed. I think it's nice. Yeah, it's got history. It's got um, it's got a lot of graphic interest. It's the sculptures. Mm -hmm. uh, I do think that the the um, this initial uh, design. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about the very pointy ears. <laughs> yeah. But uh, mm -hmm. uh, I think it's beautiful. But I, I I of course have a little concern about you know how high up that's going to be and how spiky those ears are going to be. But I think it's a really great idea. Yeah. So it might be something that we we may want to uh, support going forward, but that's something we will talk about in the future. So I will send you, I will send that PDF again and let me see if I sent it. Okay. I think if you um, Google the, the artist's name, you'll see there's a couple of other articles about it already, about it being in progress and you can read more about okay. the newspapers. So okay. I Google, you know, Google her name and I, I don't have a link for it or anything right now because I was just curious and looking up stuff. Okay. And the 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 poem for one of a nail has a lot of different attributions, not just the one that she cited, but I, I don't care about that. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not really. But um yeah, I think that we need more time to think about it. Oh. And, definitely picture, picture all of it and everything and this person has been very professional about putting together the piece that they did right about it and obviously they've already gotten money for it right so, oh they have okay well right for you she's got a long list of supporters at the end of her proposal i know i know but i didn't get to read it i did not get to read it in well, it's entirety, you, Dara. You, i'm looking, you know, I'm looking forward to that you can see a kind of long list of people if you I printed it out when I finally could open it. 
Oh, great. Yeah, it's it was saying that she does not think there's going to be a problem with fundraising, that she will be able to fundraise some she's of the fundraise funds. herself, she says. Right. And then she's got the Mass Cultural Council, the American Farriers Association, the District One North Amherst, Jones Library, Town of Amherst, Wright Builders, and Museum of Industrial Heritage. So she's got a list of supporters. She so far is what it says. Right. The town is already giving her money. And Wright Brother, Wright Builders is, I don't know how much they're giving her, but we would need to know how much each of yeah. the entities is giving her before we commit. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, you said the town is already giving them, giving her money. I didn't. I well, didn't list, she lists it as supporters. Supporters. The, I don't know if that means financial, but. Well, it typically usually should. That's what it implies. And you're right that it could be vague, but it's this, usually when you make a proposal like this and you say you already have support, there, there it is on your screen. Yep. So I would just, I, I think it is, I'm 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 pretty curious about it and I like the, the background of it and stuff. Okay, so Robert. Well, to Dara's point, she mentioned that or the, the artist mentions that the project was given an Amherst Cultural Council Award back in January of this year. So I guess I guess I have a process question. So it's not clear to me exactly what uh, what she's asking of this commission. Um, she's actually not asking this commission. Um, right. So I guess I'm wondering what, what our role is in this and what our you know are, are we are we approving any request that a resident has to create some kind of public art and if we're doing that do we, do we have well-defined criteria so that anyone submitting something can feel a, a degree of comfort that there's an objective set of criteria that that their projects being um evaluated against so i again it kind of goes back to to process and planning and i i feel like there's a certain lack of clarity around that uh, tom did you want to talk about this at all yeah i um my feeling is that we should pass on i mean we can we can you know learn more about it and discuss it but i wouldn't plan for this commission to do anything for exactly the reason that Robert uh, was pointing to, which is um, we've still got some work to do to get our, you know, our, our own charter together. Mm -hmm. And included with that would be the cr criteria. So I think the saving grace here is it sounds like uh, she doesn't need us. It would be <laughs> nice in a way to have, um, you know, have our name listed there as being aware and vaguely approving. I say right. vague because we, it would be without money, maybe. But uh, I think I think we just we, we have to get on with the work of defining ourselves and our processes. Mm -hmm. Well, what did she, how did we get the proposal? So this, Angela sent me this today. Uh-huh. Yesterday. Um, how did it come to her? Well, uh, Catherine sent this to public art, attention Thomas Warger. Okay. So, um, so oh, they are. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I know where that came from. Why? So they are appealing yeah. to us, you know, through, okay. through Tom. <laughs> Yeah. And what is, the, is there some? There's, is there a specific amount of money asked for? So what there... she's saying in this is, I have strong interest from many individuals in financially contributing towards the cost, and I believe that I can raise all the necessary funds. Which really sounds to me like that she does not have money; that she has support that's probably verbal. So um, she does not have a site yet. There's not. There isn't a location. There isn't a place to put this yet. So the town of Amherst might say, hey, that sounds really cool. But Paul said to me today, we don't know where it will go. They don't have permission to obviously put this on a site at all. So that that's part of the process, obviously, of, of, of oh. public art. 
So well, we, we because we are public art, that would be part of our job would be to help the town, you know, yeah. you know choose the site and and have a project, have have a system, which we don't have in place yet to Tom to what Tom had to say. Yeah. So I really love this idea. Um, I do think that I would love to see this kind of thing come to us after we've gotten that all delineated and figured out. Okay. Um, by the way, I think I know how she got my name on there. And that is when I put out the announcements about the the, uh, the town hall gallery exhibit, mm -hmm. I had to give uh, my email. Oh. Okay. Um, so that's that's how it's it's floating out there. Ah, okay, got it. Well, hey, it's good to get this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so it like it's just sort of, sort of an FYI, right? I think, from Angela. This is this proposal is well because yeah, Angela, Angela sent it to us so that we so that we saw it. Um, yeah. So now that we've gotten it, we just we're going to talk about it. We'll talk about it today. We'll talk about it next month. Um, but there isn't any action item that I need to, you know, check off right now. Okay. She has sent this to public art. So we now have it. Um, we can now read it on our own and discuss it at the November meeting. And we'll have more to talk about. So if anybody wants to do any fact finding in the meantime, you're welcome to to bring that to the next conversation that we'll have in November. And we'll uh, we can contact her at that point if we decide to do so and, and help decide to go forward if we all vote to do so and we'll figure it out. But this is just the initial stage. And this is something that, you know, it should be the norm that people send us proposals and, hey, we'd like to do this in public art. And then we say, sure, we've got an apparatus for that, which we will come up with. <laughs> so, so, yeah, let's take a look at it um, in your time, you know, in your own time. Um, in your leisure, you have a month, <laughs> and then we'll talk about it in November. Does that sound good? Yep, I like it. Great. Okay. Um, so I think my agenda, we're at the end of my agenda, I do believe. Um, does anybody have any other business that we did not anticipate before this meeting that they'd like to discuss? I have one business, one piece, if no one else does, um, I would invite everyone on the commission to uh, consider the possibility of joining me as a co-chair. Um, I could use a little help um, as uh, in leadership position. So uh, if anybody feels called to be by my side and help me co-chair this commission, I let me know and we will, we will uh, discuss it at the next meeting. All right, so think about it. Come back to me next month and we'll talk about it. Uh, I'll be sending you a doodle about uh, a possible meeting before October 17th. So respond to that when you get it. And I'll also send one for the November meeting, which I'm hoping is going to take place on the on, mon on Monday at 6.30, if it works out date-wise. But I'll, I'll send you those two doodles. Okay? So your homework this month is just to take a look at this and see what we think. And then we'll talk about it next month. Okay? Okay. All right. Um, I did not ask for a treasury report, Robert. I don't know if there's anything we need to discuss or, you know, nothing has changed probably. Yeah, I don't have any news to report. That $5,000 hasn't just mysteriously like shown up on our account, right? From the town of Amherst. Um, I haven't been in touch with, with Holly. I can, I can ask her. Uh, I, ha she hasn't, she hasn't contacted me to say that there was uh any additional funding that's in the account, but okay. I can ask her. Wondering if we had received that from NEFA so we can put it in there for, for hopeful future uses so we can actually help support our artists in town. Um, if you could find out if that is, you know, going to be placed in our account so that we can. So just to clarify, is that something that you had discussed with Paul that the money would go into our account or. I mean, that my assumption was that this was, this was given to the town of Amherst public art commission for use in this project and so it should be going to us for our uses so okay. that we can actually help artists in our town um so if you would ask ask her real quick and um just get back to me and then uh mm -hmm. i can follow up with paul if there's any clarification that's that needs to happen all right cool. all right well this was um less than an hour yay Lori. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. And it's really good to see you all. And I will talk to you in email and then we will see each other in November. Uh, do I have you. a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. And we got a second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Awesome. All right.
Motion passes. Thank you so much. Have a lovely week and I'll see you soon. Thank you. Okay. Bye Bye-bye. everyone. Hi, Jim. Bye.